sebum is oil secreted by the oily gland that goes up, exit to the skin surface from pore. Before age 10, there's no sebum. And look at the skin, how beautiful and clear and perfect when there is no sebum. Once sebum starts to be secreted or after age 10, we will start to see skin that become oily. In some teenager, we see acne, acne leading to scars and all sorts of problems. Sebum is inflammatory agent. So sebum creates chronic inflammation and chronic inflammation leads to abnormal cellular function. So I consider sebum the enemy of skin. We should try to minimize sebum on skin surface or eliminate it in any shape or form. In ZO, we use the first step in any protocol is called getting skin ready, GSR. GSR main objective is to clean skin surface and eliminate as much sebum as we can from skin surface. Sebum is not your friend, is not your skin friend. Remember, sebum is the enemy. 85% of the population have oily skin. Some of them consider normal skin. I don't really consider such a thing normal skin that produces sebum. When there is no sebum, that doesn't mean skin will dry up. Hydration of the skin is due to water, not oil. And sebum will not slow down the aging process as some people believe. So we try to eliminate sebum with topical agents, with cleansing skin, scrubbing skin, eliminating trapped oil in the pores and so forth. When we treat certain conditions, such as melasma, and we notice, for example, that melasma is not responding very well to treatment, the most common cause of treatment failure in melasma is skin that is oily, because sebum prevents all the topical agents from doing their job and penetrating skin to the cellular level. Also, when we do procedures like lasers or peels on the skin, oily skin will have higher tendency of complication after the procedure, such as acne flare-up, stubborn PIH, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, activation of rosacea. So what we need to do, well, that's what we condition the skin before procedure to reduce sebum and restore normal hydration and we go back on the ZO protocol after that also to reduce sebum after healing from the procedure and that will enable the skin to heal and go back to normal quickly and recover quickly.